base safely in 80% of his games. Now here's this week's field report. My name is Erica. This is the Field Report. Today, we're at Academia, and we're going to see how bats are made. Come on. Hi, I'm Erica. Hi, Erica. I'm Joe Gilligan. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Welcome to the Academia Baseball Bat Shop. I'm going to show you around today, show you how to make a baseball bat. All right, let's get started. Okay. I'm going to come over here and kind of show you some uh, different pieces of wood. We actually use the two most popular, maple and ash. Where do the trees come from that make these bats? Uh, maple is grown primarily in Vermont and Massachusetts. And the grains are typically very hard to pick up. They're, they're very light. And the ash primarily comes from the northern part of Pennsylvania and the southern part of New York. The ash is a little different in where you can really see, you can see the lines here. Yeah, these lines are more defined. Which bat is more popular, the ash or the maple? Well, right now it's probably maple. The last 10 years, uh, a lot of players have attributed better bats to maple bats. It's all about bat speed these days, and the faster you can whip the bat through the zone, is the better off they feel like they're going to be. So what kind of bat did Babe Ruth use, maple or ash? Well, he used an ash, and uh, so and he hit all those home runs with an ash bat. Joe, this doesn't quite feel like a bat yet. So how do you make this a bat? Oh, OK. So we got a six pound billet right here. So now we're gonna shave about four pounds off of this. For this, we're gonna need our master craftsman, Greg. Hi, Greg. how you doing, I'm Greg. Hi, Greg, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, let's see this. Sure, so the first thing we have to do is mark center of this billet. This is a center finder. So this will make two distinct lines, and where they intersect is our center. X marks the spot. And then what we need to do is stamp the drive center into the center of the billet. What's the drive center? This is the piece that actually holds the billet in place and causes it to turn. Oh, wow. There you go. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> We're going to load up the machine. All right. This is the drive center, the corresponding part. So what is this machine called? This is a computerized CNC lathe machine. And this is where the bats are made? This is where we make all of them. This is where it is. So how many bats do you make in a day? I usually average in between 50 and 60 bats a day. Wow. So we have it all loaded up. And then when we come over here, we program the machine. And now it's all set to go, and it's going to get a little loud. Safety first. Oh. Ooh, it's the cast of glee. Yeah. All we have to do is press start. All right. How long does it take normally to make one bat? Usually one bat, it takes about three minutes to cut, and then about another four minutes to paint. So usually about seven to ten minutes for the entire process. That's fast, though. <laughs> now it's looking more like a bat. Definitely. OK, so now the bat's all cut. All we have to do is smooth it out. For our last and final finishing touch, what I like to do is polish it with a little bit of sawdust. And you can see how it makes the bat nice and shiny. Unload it. Looks more like a classic baseball bat. Would you like to see how we finish these? Yeah, let's see it. OK, step on into the paint room. So here's our paint room. So do you have any pink paint? Of course we have pink paint. Are professional baseball players allowed to use pink bats? Yes, they are. One day of the year. Can you guess what it is? Mother's Day? Got it. So let's get this bad pink for you. There you go. Perfect. Now just start right. pulling it out. Here, I'll grab it. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Let me show you the last step in our process, which is putting on the decals. And you will know how to make a bat from start to finish. And I hope you were paying attention, because you start on Monday. <laughs> Uh-oh. like the big leaguers. From the forest to the field, it's ready for the big leagues. See you next time on Field Report.